April Dunham, Cloud Advocate at Microsoft, and I'm here to share tips and tricks around building Teams applications with Power Apps and Dataverse for Teams. Power Apps is part of Microsoft's Power Platform, the low-code suite of technology that spans across Microsoft 365, Dynamics, and Azure. This Power Platform gives us tooling for dashboard and reporting, process automation, chatbots, and low-code application development, which is what Power Apps offers. One of the great advantages of the Power Platform is it uses something called data connectors. Right now, there are more than 400 different data connectors to various products and services. These connectors give us a way to connect to those products and services within the Power Platform, all without having to write a single line of code. We can also take advantage of Microsoft Dataverse, a rich relational database specifically for the Power Platform. So how exactly do we use Power Apps to create applications and teams? Well, we can do that with something called Dataverse for Teams. Dataverse for Teams brings the rich collaborative platform that Microsoft Teams offers with the low-code technology of Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. When using Power Apps that's offered in Dataverse for Teams, we get a lightweight version of Dataverse. This provides us with a simple, low-code way to build a front-end and a back-end for applications to be used within Teams. Let's jump into a demo and see how this works in action. To create an app in Teams with Dataverse for Teams, we'll open Teams and click on the Apps tab in the left rail. To get started building these apps, we need to install the Power Apps application for Teams. So we'll do a search up at the top for Power Apps. Click on the Power Apps application and click Add to add this as a personal application into your Teams environment. Now we're ready to start building apps with Dataverse for Teams. A great way to get started with this is to leverage one of the built-in templates. Dataverse for Teams is really good for team-specific or scenario-specific use cases. So we can see some good examples of the use cases for Dataverse for Teams by looking at these templates. We have employee ideas, inspection, issue reporting, bulletins, and milestones. Let's take a look at this employee ideas template so that you can get a feel for what an app built in Dataverse for Teams looks like. To install the application, click on the template, click Add to a Team, do a search for the team and the channel that you want to add the application in, then click Set up a tab. It'll prompt you and ask if you want to post to the channel about this new application being added, then click Save, and it will run through a quick setup process. What's going on behind the scenes here is it's actually creating a Power Platform environment that's associated with the team that we just selected. Environments are logical boundaries in the Power Platform where you can store your data. So now we'll have a brand new environment where we can store all of the different Power Apps, Power Virtual Agent bots, workflows, and tables associated with our Dataverse for Teams applications. And it looks like this Employee Ideas Power App has been successfully installed. So now all we have to do is click Allow to allow this application to connect to Office 365 users and Microsoft Teams connectors. And you'll see we have a fully functioning application built inside of Power Apps within Dataverse for Teams. And it looks just like a native Teams application. We can see different campaigns that we want to get feedback and ideas from from our employees and see what things are added. We can even upvote the ideas that we like. If we go back to the Power Apps application inside of Microsoft Teams, we can see under Recent Apps, we now have that Employee Ideas application deployed. We can also create brand new applications from scratch by clicking the New App button. Similar to what we did with the template, we need to select a team to store this application in. So I'll select HR again and click Create. This will open up the Power Apps editor with inside of Dataverse for Teams so that we can create a brand new application. First thing you want to do is give your app a name. So I'll create an app for giving kudos to employees and click Save. To start, we'll configure the back end of the application and we'll do that using tables inside of Dataverse. That's where our data will be stored. We can do that by clicking this New Table button and giving our table a name. So I'll create one table for this application called kudos. So for this table, I have a name field that's default so that I can store the employee name there. I can click this plus button and this allows me to create new columns easily. So I might just have a name of the employee and I might have the kudos or the comments that I want to put. If we click the type dropdown, you see all of the different data types that Dataverse for Teams supports. I'll keep this one as text and click create. Right here in this editor, we can even populate data. Now if I click close, my table and the data is automatically saved and the app is updated to point directly to that table that I just created. It's showing all the records in our kudos list and on the right, the associated data with that record. Now all we have to do is click publish to Teams, confirm our name and description, click next, select the tab that we want to add this to, and now this will deploy our kudos power app. So if we click on the Teams tab in the left rail, 
and go to our HR general channel that we just deployed that application to, we'll see a brand new tab for kudos. So we can see Jody's kudos and I can click new record to add in more information. And that's how easy it is to get started building Teams applications with Power Apps and Dataverse for Teams. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Microsoft 365 developer videos.